it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's screencast, we are going to build TensorFlow 1.3 on the NVIDIA Jetson TX1 development kit. Let's get started. Building TensorFlow from source is a little bit challenging on the Jetson TX1. I will be making the wheel files, the binaries for TensorFlow available in a different repository, but this process will walk us through actually building TensorFlow. Let's do a little bookkeeping first. Let's open up our system monitors. In order to build TensorFlow, I have enabled a swap file. L4T 28.1 on the Jetson TX1 does not have swap enabled. I built a new kernel which enabled swap support. Here's an image of what needs to be enabled. That's the first challenge of building TensorFlow on here, is you need to make a new kernel. I'll leave a link here and in the description below to a link on how to build the kernel on board the TX1. Let's speed up our CPU clocks. On the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub, there is a repository named install TensorFlow TX1. Let's clone that. Now we will switch over to that repository's directory. Let's wander over here to the repository itself. I have a SSD attached to the Jetson. Let's take a look. We will create a swap file on the SSD. See that it showed up here in our system monitor. That's a good sign. We can build for either Python 2.7 or Python 3.5 with the provided scripts. Let's go for Python 3.5. We install the prerequisites. Py3. You must agree to the license. Okay. Do you accept the Oracle binary code license terms? Yes. Build successful password. Okay, let's clear this off. The next step is to clone TensorFlow. Now let's set our TensorFlow environment variables. We'll do that for Python 3. The TensorFlow configure script uses device query, which is here. The Jetson does not have that installed, so it gets a little bit confused, but it's okay. It's not needed. 
And now we're ready to build TensorFlow. This takes a while. Our build is now complete. We're ready to package TensorFlow. This will create the wheel file and put it in the home directory. Now that that is finished, we are ready to install TensorFlow. We'll wander up to our home directory. Pip install. Our installation is now complete. Let's validate it. Let's take a look at the TensorFlow repository on the first page here. Let's see, our first TensorFlow program. We are going to use Python 3. That looks fun. Hooray! It looks like it works. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time through, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.